This tiny island off Tasmania's historic Port Arthur is the burial ground for 1,000 people, including hundreds of convicts, women and their children. This is the burial ground that was designated for Port Arthur from the very early stages of the penal settlement. These are people stories. This is not just history. Port Arthur is one of the most visited attractions in Tasmania and the Isle of the Dead is a popular spot among tourists keen to hear the stories of those who lived and died in the 1800s. Every stone represents not just a person, it represents their whole family and generations that have followed. But humans have been contributing to the erosion of headstones and unmarked graves for decades. We had a system of on-ground paths on the island that meant that people were walking um, on unmarked grave sites around the island. There's impacts to stone from the oils from people's skin and things like that that gradually accelerate the rate of erosion of stone. Fast forward now to 2021 and a five-year $1.3 million conservation project has just been completed to reduce visitor impacts. Prefabricated walkways were flown in by helicopter and new above ground paths have been installed to protect the burial site. Another benefit of the project is improving, even removing some of the accessibility barriers that made it almost impossible for someone using a mobility aid to come and experience the island. The project was funded by federal and state governments and money from the Port Arthur Historic Site's own conservation funds. But that pool of cash is getting smaller, a direct result of border closures. I am aware that um, the conservation budget is probably a little bit tighter at the moment because we don't have that additional tourist income. There's been a 25% drop in international tourists and a 30% reduction in domestic visitor numbers. But as Australia gears towards opening up again, the future of the Port Arthur historic site remains bright. We're hoping that if the borders open before Christmas, that our visitation after that time will be about 18 to 24% below where it was pre-COVID. Ensuring the stories of the men, women and children of Port Arthur are never forgotten. Liz Quinn, ABC News.